What is up, Rocket Nation, and welcome back for episode number 93 of Elden Ring. In episode number 92, we finished off what was left of the Shaded Castle. And that place, the second half of it was kind of a nightmare. We had to deal with uh, an enemy, I believe they're called the Revenants. And then the boss, we ended up getting on the first try, but that was, uh, I believe the guy's name was Elmer the Briar, which we find out now is the true name of the bell bearing hunter that we've encountered once in Kaelid and uh, once back in the original ale, or area back by uh, Stormvale Castle. So took care of him. We ended up getting him first try. That's where we're going to be picking up today. I believe we are actually still inside of the Shaded Castle. We'll probably fast travel out of here. I don't think there was anything else near us, but that is where we're picking up today. So if you guys enjoy the episode, make sure you guys give it the old thumbs up, share it on your favorite social media platform so that others may enjoy it as well. And if you guys want to be notified when the next episode goes live, all you guys got to do is be subbed to the channel, click the little bell notification icon deal thing, and lo and behold, YouTube will take care of the rest, maybe possibly. Uh, all right, so that is where we're picking up from. Um, I don't think that there's anything left here, to be honest. We, the outside of the castle kind of was cut off by a cliff over here. There was a cliff over here and everything sort of funneled back into a tunnel this way. So, uh, I think we're kind of all set. Uh, that's the ramparts. I don't even think we need to go there. Um, I think we're good to fast travel back this way. So we had kind of made our way down there by, um, like funneling down this little, uh, a little cliffside here and then making our way over here. I think this entire area over here is now set. I don't think there's anything left for us to do over here. Um, I think we're going to move north along and try and get up here by the Erd tree. Uh, so let's fast travel right over here by Bach the Seamster, who loves to call me Lord now. Lord. Oh, Lord. Um, and let's work our way up this way. So it seems as if there's going to be another entrance to that giant wall right there. Probably a little bit further up is my guess. Um, there is a guy up on the cliff there. Let's see what's going on with this fella. What does he say? Is it voiceover time? I think it's voiceover time. Wait for it. Oh, Erd tree. Great Erd tree. <laughs> the golden order itself unwavering stretched to the sky confer your guidance to our elden lord to put his weary world to rights nice it's praying to the earth tree i get it i get it i see what you're doing there knock it off all right, so Brother Corin was right up here, not too far. We didn't we didn't really search up here to the right. So let's take a look up here to the right in the woods across from Brother Corin, who should be right over there somewhere. Let's see if there's anything up. Whoa! I see what you did there. Oh, there is an item down there, and it looks like it's surrounded by things. Um, is there another way into this? Where's Brother Corrin at? Yeah, Brother Corrin is down here. Wasn't he? <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, okay. He was right down here. So there is... There, how do we get into that little... I was expecting there to be a way into that little in cut there. That cut in? That deal? That thing? What are you guys looking at? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? That looks like a church if I ever seen one. Oh, we're going to have to go down that way. Oh, look at this. That looks like a tower there as well. Oh, I'm so excited. There's a tower there. That one looks weird though. So we have a tower there. We have a church there. Let's see if we can't find our way up into this little uh, hole here. <laughs> a few enemies on the side of the road. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's go pick a foyer. You're dead. You're dead to me. These guys just stood here and watched it all go down. That's what you get for being lazy. All right. I don't really see how... 
I think we were going to have to jump in from the top. There was an item back there, so we're definitely going to have to go back here and get this. Looks like we're probably going to have to go back and then climb up. Yeah, we can get up right there. Well, I can see where this would be. Whatever this item is would be easily missed, that's for sure. Because I don't really see a way down in here other than jumping down in. So I guess that's what we're going to do. That looks like a long jump, though. Is there a safer way down? Like from here to here? To here? Nailed it. First try. Um, those look like baby octopi, don't they? Because they are. Oh, there's like a little statue. Whatever that is looks special. Because it's that golden color. I don't know how the heck we're going to get out of here, to be honest. Looks like there might be a way that way. Um, all right. What is this? Land octopi things and stuff. So what is this? Amber starlight. Okay. That is a new item. It's a key item. Amber starlight. What is amber starlight? So we've been getting the other kinds of starlight. Um, I don't think they're in here, though. Ingredient used in a special drought. An ephemeral silver that gives off a pale amber glow. What remains of a passing flash of starlight. If the stars command our fates, then amber-hued stars must command the fates of the gods. Such is a belief that inspired the use of these shards to prepare the, the a most special drought. Cannot be consumed by mere humans. Okay, whatever that's going to be used for. That's definitely got me intrigued. Um, yeah. I'm kind of excited to figure out what that, uh, what that's going to be used for. Amber Starlight. Yeah, okay, so we can get out right here. Boy, this would be easily missed. Where does it spit us out at? Oh, okay. We're right at the base of the yellow brick road. <laughs> All right. Looks like we'll have to go back around and up. Um, we can actually take the road now. I think I want to go down to the left and uh, go see what's up with that church down there. There's a good chance that we are going to get a, another one of the items that allow us to refill more health and uh, FP by using flask. Those almost always appear at the churches. So how do we get down to it safely? I think that's a serviceable drop. We ain't got to worry about nothing there. Some nascent butterflies. Oh, right here it is. Nice. Hey, what's up, Dag? Oh, here I come. I'm coming for you, Dag. Key I, I missed. I'm an idiot. I missed. Wait for him to jump. Now stab. Oh, and again. There we go. <laughs> One of these will hit. All right. So a brand new church. Second church of Marika. So we're kind of counting down, aren't we? Oh, what is this? Is this? Dude, this is what's his name? Isn't it Yara? Is that his name? Seems I am no match for you, but I've learned a thing or two myself. You see, I've sliced the finger off. Please. Please, Eleonora. Yield to the cesspit no longer. Do not stain the immaculacy of your soul. Oh, is he dead? He's dead. Oh, Yara died. I wonder if there was anything we could have done to save him. He spoke of Eleonora again. And uh oh, we're getting invaded. We're getting invaded. What the heck is that? All right, let's play. Yeah, I didn't think so. You didn't. Oh boy. Okay. All right. She's really bringing the heat. Oh my goodness.
Wow. You know what? Let's just show her no respect whatsoever. Yeah! <laughs> Get worked, lady. Whoa, look at her outfit was sick. Purifying Crystal Tear and Eleonora's Pole Blade. All right, what is the Purifying Crystal Tear? Um, Purifying Crystal, it's that red one right there. Purifies the Lord of Blood's curse in a mixable flask. A crystal tear formed slowly over the years where the Erd Tree's bounty falls to the ground can be mixed in a flask of wondrous physic. The resulting concoction purifies the curse of Mog, Lord of Blood's terrifying rite of blood. Whatever that means. Uh, <laughs> okay. So we have to remember that Mog, Lord of Blood, and the rite of blood terrifying rite of blood um there's a curse that we're gonna have to use this for guaranteed uh, <laughs> all right so there's that and um eleanora's pole blade eleanora's pole blade where are pole blades at that's it right there oh causes blood loss build up very low though 33 uh d scaling for dexterity and arcane requires 21 dexterity 19 arcane it does have fire damage as well so that's actually cool. This is three different types of damage. Physical, fire, and blood buildup. Twinned Naginata. Oh. Um, forged in the land of reeds. Chosen weapon of Eleonora. Violet bloody finger. Her mastery of the sword was such that her onslaught was likened to a whirlwind. But now her legacy is stained by a cursed blood. Unique skill blood blade dance leap at a foe and perform a flurry of tornado like attacks follow up with an additional input to perform an attack that ends in an evasive maneuver that actually sounds sick this thing looks ba like the blades are red like they're covered with blood that one's that is kind of an awesome weapon all right nice so she invaded Yara and killed him here then. So he's he's dead. What does he have? Uh Nagakiba. We got a Nagakiba. That looks like a katana. Katanas are up, right? No, those are no, 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 not there. Where are the Nagakiba? Where in the Naga right there? Nope, that's Moonvale. Nagakiba, right there. Um, this also causes blood loss buildup. 45. C scaling and dexterity. 18 strength, 22 dexterity. 115 physical damage. Katana with a ferociously long blade. And, okay. So it's the pole. Uh, what is the, there was, there's this sword, I believe, uh, is the same sword that was in Dark Souls several times. Signature weapon of Yara, Hunter of Bloody Fingers. Reminiscent of a reinforced spear, its imposing length can be put to good use with powerful thrusting attacks. Skill piercing fang. Skill used by Yara, the Bloody Finger Hunter. Starting with the blade held horizontally, make a powerful thrust that cannot be blocked. Oh, nice. Very nice. Um, did we get anything else? No, that was it. Nagakiba. And sacred tear. That's the reason why I came here was for the sacred tear. Uh, <laughs> nice. Well, that was unexpected. So Yara is dead now. I wonder if there was any way that we could have come here earlier and uh, maybe saved him. Bloodbone shard. I wonder if it's our fault that he died. I'm not sure on that one. Um, we got some dogs down there. Is that a wolf? They have wolves down there. Let's give a quick look around here, though. Make sure there isn't anything that I missed. It look like this is basically the only way is to jump down here. Oh, there is. No, this path maybe would have led here. No, the only the only way down here would have been to jump down. So this sort of funnels you down towards that tower then. All right, well, let's go check out the little graveyard down below. Not too concerned with killing the wolves. What is this? Magic grease? Yeah, I'm not worried about the wolves. Oh, there is a jump down there. Um, I want to go to the tower first, though. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. Where the where the heck is the tower at? 
Wasn't the tower just right here? Oh, what is that sound? Oh, there's something that... What the heck is that? What in the name of God is this thing? Oh, there's a glowy thing down there, too. There's a jumping thing down there. Um, you know what? Let's go this way. Because we can take this jump off, right? Now, I want to jump back up here. Whoa, we're going too far. You've gone too far. Oh, what the heck? What? What? What is going on here? <gasps> Item up right here. What is this? Nascent butterfly. Wow. <laughs> what? Knock it off. Quit throwing stuff at people. Um. <laughs> Listen, bud. <laughs> Not going to happen. Can we jump back across? I think we're going to have to jump back across here and we're going to have to check out what's off to the left there. Um, hopefully we can make this good. Oh, wow. That was really close. All right. Where's the little butthole that was throwing stuff at us over here? Thank you. <laughs> is that the shaded castle? I think that's the shaded castle right there, is it? Yeah, that's the shaded castle, I think, right there. So this is up above the path that we would have taken to get to the Shaded Castle. Don't look like there's anything else here. Oh no, oh, I thought we were dead. I thought the horse was just gonna, the course was gonna just run right off. The cow horse was just gonna take the plunge. All right, so there's nothing else over here. Um, Is there anything else down here? I just want to make sure we can jump back up here. Yeah, I think we can. I think we'll be fine jumping back up there. Oh, okay. All right. So I think this is the path, the start of the path that we took. There's an item right here. We, how did we miss this? Yeah. So this is the start of the path that we took. Let's go ahead and hop off. It'll make this easier. Golden Rune 3. All right. So that is the path that we took up to get to the Shaded Castle right there. We never did come over here into the woods. It didn't look like there was anything up here. I didn't even see this. All right, so. I was going to say, don't you do this to me. All right, so back up here. Some wolves. Is this another pass? So this is up above the area below that we were just at. Don't look like there's anything going on this way. Couple of dags over here and a jump to get up. Well, let's see what's up. Oh. oh. What was that? What the heck was that? What's up with all the glowy stuff that happened there? What? Nope. Nope. That was weird. Like, there was, like, glowy bits that happened there. Oh, what is this now? Oh, here's the rope bridge that we had seen from underneath. Oh, there's something. Oh. Well, you're not hiding very well, bud. Oh, that wasn't anything. <laughs> Might have killed an innocent animal. Don't judge me. Bloody grease. Oh, there's nothing in the back. I got all excited. Not gonna lie, I thought free item. Thought we were getting a freebie. Wow, Altus Plateau is actually massive and very confusing to move around in. Uh, <laughs> let's get that. All right, let's come back over here then. Let's see where the rope bridge takes us. Oh, I got so excited. I thought we were gonna get an item out of this. Um, let's check around over this side first. What? Hello, gentlemen. Um, wow. Okay. Bunch of dudes over here. 
All right. <laughs> what are they all doing over here? Oh, is this guy giving him like a pep talk? Dude, kill the leader. The rest will scatter. That's not true. Apparently that is not true. Look at them all jumping up. Listen, I gotta, yeah, go ahead, jump up. Idiots. Oh man. Golden rune four. Wow. All right, well, that's one way to take out a whole group. <laughs> Stand at the top of a little hill. Watch them all run right to you. Well, what's down here then before we go the other way? Oh, it looks like there's a ruin over there. Is this, this can't be Lux ruin, right? What ruin is this? Oh, there's horrible noises coming from here. What the heck is that? Oh my God. Um, Kill it with fire. Holy cow. We found out that fire one shots these things, which is nice. Um, I'm concerned about the big giant red one. Can we kill that with fire? Um, I Not if we don't have any FP, we can't. All right, let's try this again. There is an item over here. Was that a dog that I just kicked? It was. No, kill it. Kill it. Jesus. This thing is very resistant to damage. Well, not no more, it ain't. <laughs> The other option is just to swing a giant sword at it. I wonder what it dropped there. It's the way I handle unknowns. Just hit them with giant swords. Ouch. All right. Well, all right. You're going to pay with fire. You gotta get like stand right on top of them. Um, a beast, beast blood, and heavy beast bones. That's it, really. That was weird. It was a little odd. There, what is this horrible noise coming from over here? What is that? That's a, that's a dog. Um, let's go hit it. Was it eating this? Again, I'm out. It's so weird. You got to like stand directly over him. I'm just trying to thank you. <laughs> There's a lot of these sacramental buds over here too. Is that a dog too? Man, there's dogs everywhere. Ow! Knock it off. Another dog down there. Let's drink real quick. Got him. The old dive roll into a, uh, a pokey bit. Gets him every time. Oh, let's do this. Or not. You little. Good thing these things don't do a lot of damage. Oh, there's stairway. Didn't even see it. Whatever. There's something in that direction making horrible noises. Um, there's another dog over there. Let's go take care of that dog first. Drink. Just in case we have a boss fight down here. And we're going to. All right. 
Well, we know the drill. Flame, grant me strength. Get the rot dog out. Rot dog attack. Oh no, that is, is that a revenant? Oh, I thought it was a revenant. <laughs> You're dead and don't even know it, bud. That looks like an omen. Interesting. All right. Um, I didn't even catch the name of that either. I got to start looking at the names of the enemies that I fight before I two shot them to death with my giant sword. Um, bloody Hellas. A bloody Hellas. That is a weapon. Bloody Hellas. It looks right there. It is. It is a heavy thrusting sword. Um, sort of like a rapier. Um, dexterity D arc or arcane D requires 19 dexterity, 17, uh, arcane blood loss buildup of 33, which is kind of low ominous piercing sword with a winding blade carried by the noble servants of the Lord of blood. Who the frick is this Lord of blood? Um, designed to bore into the flesh, causing severe blood loss at the wound. The extracted blood trickles gracefully down the length of the blade. Oh, that's kind of cool. Unique skill, Dynast's Dynast Finesse. Uh, nimbly avoid an attack, securing some distance from foes. Follow up with a strong attack to perform a sudden lunge and press strong attack again to perform a sweeping slice. Well, that just sounds dope. 121 physical damage. So that's plus eight. We can't really compare that. Yeah, this and the Great Epi would be kind of the two best ones as far as base damage goes. I feel like base damage is the base number you should be looking at. The number one thing you should be looking at for a weapon. Because everything else is going to scale off of that base damage. Uh, if unleveled, a weapon does 91 base damage and another one does, you know, 100 damage. That 100 damage one in the end is going to end up doing more damage overall. Even if it has maybe even poor scaling. All right, so is that everything here? Get dead to me. What? I don't even know where we're at anymore, if I'm going to be completely honest. This summoning pool is now functional. Yeah, I kind of don't even know where we're at anymore. There is something making a horrible noise over here, though. Is it that big... Is it that... Whatever that creature was that we had seen? I don't know. Um, You know what? Let's go back this way. Let's see what is over here by the uh, rope bridge. I want to see what's at the rope bridge. So this led to the rope bridge right here. There's guys over here, too. Very mysterious area here. I don't know what these guys would be doing here. All right. Here's the rope bridge. There is. Oh, there's a sight of grace on the other side, too. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Mount Gelmir. So we, we've we crossed into a different area. So this is Mount Gel... Oh, I kind of want to go up and get that map. Um, so this is a different area. This is Mount Gelmir. All right. Well, let's, uh, sit down at this site of grace here, re up on everything. And, uh, that is where we will call this episode. So we have, a, you know what, before we do end, let's go ahead and get another level up in. We have a few, uh, I'll tell you where these are going to go. One there and one there. Yes. 52 strength, 52, uh, vigor now. Feeling good about where we're at. We may have to add a little bit more endurance at some point. We may put on some heavier armor. Um, and I would like to have maybe another swing or two would be always nice too. But that is where we're going to end this episode. Rocket Nation, thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another episode of Elden Ring. As always, if you enjoyed it, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Share it on your favorite social media platform so that others may enjoy it as well. 
And if you guys want to be notified when the next episode goes live, all you guys got to do is be subbed to the channel, hit the little bell notification deal icon thing, and YouTube will take care of the rest. Thank you guys so much. And as always, remember, life is short. Pause save. And I will see you in the next episode.